Dear students, this Doreen is formed when there is enjoyment or connection between two uh, swallows. For instance, there is two swallows which is nearby to each other. Nearby to each other. But uh, at the area there is the uplands. For instance, the one which we have been observed there, the Greek, the uh, Greeks and the Crint. Wherever the Crint, for instance, the Greek assume is the a sore hole. But uh, there is here the 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 Crints. Wherever the Crints will be distracted and reacted react between two sorrows or two two Greeks and they can cause for the formation of Dorin. Therefore, Dorin, this is the reaction between two, two sorrows and to be enlarged in nature, which will be Dorin. Not only that, another is Yuvara. Yuvara, this is a large depression. Whatever talk about depression, you are just de describe about basin or a hole or the large one. Produce when the two or more Doreen joining together due to the continuity of solution by water. Dear students, Uvara, this is the horrors produced after the connection or joint between two Doreens. Wherever these two Doreen, for instance, wherever there is a Doreen in particular area, and then nearby there is another Doreen, wherever this Doreen would be reacted and to form one, therefore, will be changing from Doreen to Uvara. Not only that, but also there is another feature which is called the porch. Porch, this is a very large depression produced after the more than Uvara have been joined together due to the controlled solution of water. When this porch are occupied with water, they form a porch rake. Dear students, this porch is likely to other features whereby two Uvara is just connecting to each other. For instance, in particular area there is a Uvara and nearby there is another Uvara. Wherever these two Uvara will be connected and to form a one horse, this will be porch. Wherever this porch will be filled with water, we will obtain porch reiki. Dear students, when we was describing, when we were describing about the describing about the types of, of reiki according to model formation, we described about porch reiki, which is just taking place to the casting region. Therefore, because the porch, this is the enlargement or joint between two uvara. And wherever this porch will be filled with water, therefore we obtain a reiki, which is called a porch reiki. Because the reiki is the horror which is filled with water, we no longer depend on large or small. Because the reiki, it can be large or can be small in nature. But even in cast region, there is a reiki like porridge rake. Dear students, the last one features that can be taking place on the air surface in cast region is gorge. This is a narrow deep sided valley produced after the river have been disappeared underground. The remaining valley after the water has it stepped in the in inside ground inside the ground is called gorge. Dear students, this gorge is formed after the valley. Wherever it will be expanded mostly vertically, therefore can cause for the formation of gorge. But wherever the gorge will be expanded vertically more, the most can cause the formation of canyon. canyon. But in East Africa, we have valley and the gorge. This canyon is mostly to the West Africa. Therefore, in the cast region, there is some features which can be taken place on the air survey, which is called the surface features. And showing by, by this structure, whereby starting with there is joint, the Sorhoris, Dorini, Uvara, Gorge, and a Porge Rake. Dear students, you have to remind yourself that in Tanzania, this, although this kind of caste region is Yugoslavian or is taking place in in the area which is called Kasi in Yugoslavia. Even in Tanzania, there is a Kasi region, especially in Iamboni in Tanga. Eh? Kuna mpangu kule. Therefore, we have to describe different caves or caves that can be taken place within the 
the landmass which is called subsurface or subterranean features i i told you that the karst region is classified in two parts either surface and subsurface or subterranean therefore we have to describe about sub surface or subterranean features these features which produce within the ground they are formed because of seepage seepage or percolation or penetration or infiltration although the infiltration is just taking place nearby the surface but mostly is more sinking of water more sinking of water or percolating within the the ground this features is shown as falls the first is cave and the caverns dear students caves or caverns these are the holes produced within the ground after the seepage of water to have been dissolved in the ground rock and then form some holes when these holes are enlarged they become a caverns hence caverns are larger than cave and therefore you have to remind yourself cave wherever it be enlarged we obtain caverns therefore cave and the cavern is likely the only difference is in terms of size not only that but there is another features which can be taken place within which is called resurgence resurgence streams resurgence streams these are the streams formed when the river passes through a rainy limestone region and then disappear underground and then appear on the ground after passing the limestone region this is likely to re record at the part of drainage patterns where it can be passing within the ground within the ground for long distance of time and the image on the earth surface for instance what i told you in ribol secondary school there is a, a river which is just emerging at the schools it, it is assumed that this river is started from mount meru but can be passing through within this crust but image on the earth surface eh, at a certain distance for instance what is just taking place at ribol secondary school dear students when this river disappear underground it can be either influence stream or influence streams influence streams or influence stream here influence is just e is that e but influence is just easy i is that with the i therefore inf influence stream which is such with e is the one fed by water water table above the rivers the water table is above the streams okay this is the one fed by water water table above the rivers the water table is above is above the stream therefore this is just taking place within mostly within the water table but whenever you talk about influence stream when the streams is fed by water table below the levels when the material is is bare is below the streams therefore this influence streams is just taking place before to reach to the water table therefore the water table is more deeply than this one dear students another features which is the most to understand is stalactite are the features which can be taking place within the the ground especially the area of karst region uh, for instance in tanzania there is the area of amboni in itanga uh, kuna mapango mengi sana kule therefore stalactite is a karstite features produced by produced by water produced after the crystallization of water drops from the ground surface they are hinged down words from the roof to the bottom therefore the landmass is just the landform is just the hinging downwards therefore this feature of stalactite is when material or water reacted with a certain place and remain the hardness standing or hinging downwards like this structure which is just forming when the water droplets when water drops which have already dissolved 
the calcium carbonate tend to crystallize. This crystallize substance has have a uh, hinge down what's from the, the roof. Therefore, this C stalactite is just a, a features caused with the reaction with water, the soft one to be dissolving, and uh, the hardness remaining uh, uh, hinging downwards uh, like this structure. Not only that, but also there is another feature which is called the stalagmites. It is the features that grow upwards and from the bottom to the roof of the cavern. Therefore, although stalactite is hinging downwards, but stalagmites is just standing upwards, standing upwards, but not growing. But this landmass is hardness and soft, but the soft is remain standing upwards, wherever will be standing and reach to the stalactite, which is hinging downwards, can be connected and form to another another feature, which is called the uh, nature, natural pillars. But uh, we have to complete the stalactite in terms of description. Stalagm stalagmites. It is formed after the colored material which haven't crystallized to have filled on the bottom of the cavern and then grow upwards. The stalagmites are thick, thicker than the stalactite. Is it thicker than it? Therefore, you have to remind yourself the meaning of stalagmites and stalactite and stalagmite. Stalactite is the features which is just hanging downwards. But the stalagmites, this is the features taking, taking place within the air surface, whereby it's just standing upwards after the soft to be already and remain the hardness standing as the ridges. Wherever these two things will be reacted to each other or connected to each other is called natural pillars. These are the features formed after the stalagmite has grown to the extent of meeting with the stalactite. Or is formed when the stalactite, stalagmite grow upwards and then reach to the roof of the caverns. Therefore, most of these natural pillars, this is the reaction between stalagmites which is just standing upwards and the ones which is called stalactite which is just hanging downwards. Wherever we be reacted at the mid is called the natural pillars. Dear students, another is called the anthrotites. These are the features formed when the calcites crystallize on the roof of the cavern without hinging or re having the like as indicated as the structure. Okay, this is anthrodactyl. This is a feature formed when the castle crystallizes on the roof. This is likely to the stalactite, but the itself is not hinging like stalactite. It's just taking place nearby the, or is just attached, is not hinging down like stalactite. That is called anthrodactyl. Dear students, there is a certain features which is just showing this feature which can be taking place within the air surface, which is called the subsurface or subterranean features of cast region. But uh, you have to remind yourself that uh, this natural region or this cast region is just taking place in some areas wherever we be reacted with water can change its appearance in terms of uh, limestone or charcoal like structure. Because this is formed after the calcium carbonate to be reacted with rainwater in place of carbon dioxide can cause for the formation of calcium bicarbonate, which is weak in nature. Therefore, this feature is just showing the anthrodites, stalactite, cave or caverns can be shown, natural pillars, uh, stalagmites, lesigian les les streams is just shown like this one, and the ground streams. Dear students, let complete or finish this subtopic of cast region by looking the value of cast region. First, the value of cast region, they are source of building material of cement. For instance, 
In cast region due to the limestone region or charcoal-like structure, this material is very potential because it's just used in industry for the formation or production of cement. That's why in Tanga there is a cement industry. Not only that, but also the v another value of cast region is they form important scenes for tourist attraction. Dear students, as I told you the meaning of tourists, this is the people who can be traveling or shifting from one place to another for purposes of leisure, studies, or for business. But uh, most of the people just go to these features so as to observe and to, re to determine how is it just formed. Therefore, this cast region is very potential or is value for tourist attraction. Another they provide a good environment for grazing. Although most of the landmass is having no vegetation, the vegetation that can be taking place in this region is scribal in nature or poor vegetation. Therefore, but there are some areas which is considered for good uh, pasture and which is potential for grazing, maybe f uh, sheep or goats. Therefore, there are some areas which is good environment for grazing. Another value is they, they form some parts of fertile, fertile soil suitable for agriculture. This soil reddish in, in color and is called terralosa. Therefore, terralosa, this is the area in cast region which is very potential for agriculture. Therefore, most of the people is just concentrate to each other for purpose of uh, cultivation. Dear students, the same question here is describing as below. Discuss the development of surface and the subsurface features in the cast region. Here you have to determine the all different features that can be taking place on the surface, which is called the surface, and uh, those features which can be taking place within the surface, which is called the subsurface. Another question is discuss the origin or nature of cast landscape. What are factors that can cause the for this reaction. Therefore, you have to refer the point of view.